Hold this down. So we do you hold this down and now one at a time. That's it. So this is how you do it. <laughs> Sounds like a fun job, honestly. <laughs> It's good anger management. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to Munich and welcome to the BMW Dismantling Center right here in the heart of Munich. And I'm here with Alex Schul. He's the head of operations for this facility here. And in this video, we're going to walk around and show you how BMW prototypes and pre-production cars and production series cars are being dismantled here. And we're going to talk about the whole process. So Alex, the floor is yours. Tell me exactly what you're doing at this location. And we can walk towards there and we can see some of the cars here as well. Okay. So, Rasha, this is uh, the uh, BMW Recycling and Dismantling Center. Uh, we've been operating this facility for 30 years now. Okay. It's the main facility for BMW to take back and dismantle uh, pre-series vehicles. Okay. Um, BMW, Mini, Rolls-Royce and mm. motorbikes as well. You see a lot of different brands here, basically. Exactly. I don't see a Rolls-Royce yet, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while okay. one will pop up here. So what we, what we, do, what we do here, uh, first of all, is the vehicles are brought here on uh, by truck. So it's usually a truckload of five to six vehicles mm -hmm. from the Central uh, Forschungs and, Innovations, uh, and uh, Innovation, Innovation Center at FITS. It fits. Yeah. And uh, once they are, have the clearance for, for recycling at this facility, we pick them up there and bring them here to to have them uh, prepared for the recycling process so the first step gotcha. here is we separate between uh, vehicles with an electrified drivetrain okay. and vehicles with a internal combustion engine only so that's the difference so I, I see there the i4 clearly exactly I see some plug-in hybrids as well of course minis too exactly okay got first it. you can see obviously all the electrified vehicles receive one of those large red and yellow stickers which is an optical indicator for everyone working here be careful it's a high voltage mm -hmm. uh, a system inside that car, which is usually in a pre-production pre state. So mm -hmm. we need people with special uh, training. We will see that later. Yeah. And uh, we put those stickers on, we check the paperwork, uh, we check the vehicle identification number uh, in order to make sure that everything is, is okay mm -hmm. and, and as it's supposed to be. Sure. And then um, once the vehicles are loaded off, they're yeah, put into a temporary walk towards that way and take a look, yeah. yeah, temporary parking spot. And once, we are ready uh, to, to take them into the, uh, the first step of the process. Mm -hmm. They are being picked up by forklift and are being brought into the, uh, into the first uh, stage of the, uh, of the dismantling process. Now for the, for the vehicles with an internal combustion engine, that would obviously be the assessment area, which we're going to see in the, uh, one of the next uh, steps. Mm -hmm. And the first step for the uh, vehicles with a high voltage battery uh, pack would be the uh, high voltage dismantling area. Gotcha. So, so before we get into the process and all of this, Tell me why is BMW doing this? Because that's probably more important than anything mm -hmm. else. I mean, it kind of looks cool to see all these prototypes here, yeah. but there is more yeah. to the story, right? Of course. Um, first of all, of course, there is the uh, the main target is to to um, identify uh, new technologies in order to, at the end of the day, produce our vehicles in a more um, ecological way. Okay. So retrieving material, um, bringing in more secondary material into the mm -hmm. cars, and of course, secondly, um, to keep our hands onto our pre-production uh, onto our pre-production parts inside mm -hmm. those cars since the vehicles are not meant for resale mm -hmm. um, we want to have those pre-production parts safely handled uh, the way it's supposed to be both mm -hmm. from an economical as uh, ecological mm -hmm. and from a uh, internet intellectual property point of view gotcha. so um, these are the main targets and of course we are the uh, yeah the 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 development platform for new recycling technologies, which we then provide to the dismantlers in the field mm -hmm. via, for example, the International Dismantling Information System, which is a platform for uh, uh, over 3,000 uh, uh, partners com currently yeah. in mm -hmm. over 32 countries. Yeah. So before we go to the first step, that will be the, the, the next section. Was there a car that came through here that broke your heart because you had to dismantle it? <laughs> In fact, uh, there was, uh, it was a Z8, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah. you actually had this one, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a pre-production car, <laughs> but it's a very rare guest here. Yeah. It's, it's always been since we didn't produce that many. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was. That is a good one. I didn't yeah. think about that one. Last time when I was here, I saw an active E and I thought that was cool because it's so rare. But the yeah, Z8. but we had a couple of hundreds here. Yeah, so, it's true. Yeah. So the Z8, yeah, very, yeah. Very, very cool. All right. And basically, anytime BMW Classic uh, does housekeeping, yeah. 
and they, uh, you know, they, they sort out yeah. their their, their uh, vehicles which they do not use anymore yeah. for, for display, yeah. which are just there for spare parts, and they uh. end up here. That's like E21s yeah. and E28s and yeah. so on. It's for, mm, uh, maybe I should uh, talk to them. Maybe I can <laughs> buy one from them. Yeah, Pre-production, so yeah. <laughs> I can just store it. Yeah. I have to drive it basically. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so Alex, let's go for the first step, and then we can talk a lot more. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so second station in the process. I guess I see a lot of high plug-in hybrids and electric cars. So I'm assuming yeah. something to do with batteries, probably, right? True. <laughs> <laughs> Easy guess. Yeah. Okay, this is this is the uh, basically the first step in the process for any car with a high voltage uh, battery. Okay. So it might, it's, could either be a plug-in hybrid vehicle or a battery electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, the main goal here is to separate the high voltage battery pack from the rest of the car. Okay because afterwards, once we've separated the battery pack from the vehicle, any electric vehicle can then be treated in the same way as any car with okay. an internal combustion engine only. Mister. So this is the main goal here, to separate the battery pack from the vehicle, okay. and afterwards, testing and preparation of the battery pack for pickup and then for further recycling. Gotcha. It's been prepared, prepared yeah. already, so what we've already done here is, as you can see, we've removed the exhaust system and, and a couple of other components. Mm -hmm. And since this is a plug-in hybrid, uh, there is a little more to do as if it were a, a, a pure battery electric vehicle only mm -hmm. because of the exhaust system. Mm -hmm. But it's already been prepared and the, uh, the battery has already been disconnected in all terms from the, from the vehicle. So there's no more uh, uh, high voltage connection, no more data interface, no more coolant uh, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So the only thing which we are left to do here is to lower Just the battery down from the, uh, from the vehicle. Let's take a look, might as well, you know. It's basically the same battery pack as you, as you can see in front of you there. Got it, okay. The closed battery system, mm -hmm. and that's the open system in front of you. Got it. So same ba same battery type. You cannot see the cells yet, so it's, it's obviously the modules with the yeah, cells inside, yeah. but the main, the main topic here is that the, uh, we have different uh, tool sets in order to, to diagnose the batteries prior to transportation. Got it. We want to retrieve information whether there's any significant fault stored inside the uh, cell surveillance mm -hmm. units, which would make it uh, uh, too hazardous to, to transport the battery pack on the road. It's, it's a safety precaution, mm -hmm. which we sure. take a look into at BMW yeah. internally. So, if the battery cannot be tested, either it doesn't answer or it has a severe fault, mm -hmm. we have to open the battery pack itself and mm -hmm. afterwards we will start testing the, uh, the cell voltage modules. and so on and so yeah. forth. It's, it's, a, it's a strict, uh, uh, um, yeah, it's the it's, it's same as filming a movie actually, yeah. we have to follow certain steps yeah. and to evaluate the steps and once we're yeah. all good and done, we can basically put the uh, modules into the uh, yeah. storage devices and then we're all good and we're so ready. Lots to of SOPs here, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A lot of ticks and boxes. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, so let's yeah. go to the next station, see what else is uh, going on here. Yeah. So next step for all vehicles is uh, the vehicle assessment. So what we mainly do here is we take a cl first very close look at the vehicle itself. What okay. condition is it in? What's the, uh, the pre-series status? In order to identify parts which we're potentially looking into for further use in okay. terms of original BMW use parts or parts which would be reused internally for further testing. Okay. The rest of the vehicle is then prepared for further processing in terms of draining and dismantling of parts. Mm -hmm. And if the interiors are either uh, quality-wise not feasible for further usage or they're pre-series or uh, they're damaged or whatever, then the airbags and the pyrotechnical devices are deployed here at this station. So this is where we blow up the airbags. This is, this where, is, this this is, is the fun part exactly. of the whole process. Exactly. So this is <laughs> it's my this favorite is, part. Really. This is exactly where it's, where it's really fun to, to work in. And, okay. and um, it was developed over 20 years ago, but it's still functional uh, as it always was. It was very analog, yeah. Yeah, it's very analog. So we basically have two options. Huh? The first yeah. option is to, to simply... Um, I can show it is like this maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. To simply connect the, uh, the airbag deployment device Okay. to the main control unit, which is in, in, in charge of the, of the, uh, the airbag sure. uh, uh, system. Yeah? So this is what we did here. Huh? So what we have done already or prepared here is we removed the, uh, the console and we've connected the, uh, the deployment system via an interface to the uh, relevant control unit. Got it. And this enables us to manually deploy every active pyrotechnical device in this, in this vehicle. Okay. Second option would be to uh, connect a, uh, another device directly to the onboard diagnosis interface oh, of the okay. car. So through the OBD basically. Exactly, it's the OBD. Mm -hmm. 
but that is less fun. So yeah, yeah, if you want to do it manually, the other thing is just pressing a button. blow up some stuff in the right way. Exactly. As you can see now, it's connected. So first step is to to press the button. Okay, hold you this. can press it by yourself yeah, as well, me just do don't that. press the yellow button yet. Alright, so <laughs> this is how you blow up the airbags in a pre-production car or any car you want to dismantle here. So you hold this down, the check marks. And then you would press ignition, but don't press it yet. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so just let this one go. Yeah. Okay. So once I, I'll give you the, uh, the clearance to start, okay. you, will, uh, you will put on these, uh, okay. these headsets here. Perfect. So basically ready whenever you are. Okay. Yeah. Hold this down. So we do, you hold this down, and now one at a time. Bam, one, two. Oh, that was a big one. That's it. <laughs> so this is how you do it. <laughs> Sounds like a fun job, honestly. <laughs> it's good anger management. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next station right now and see what else uh, we can talk about here. Okay, perfect. Cool. Okay, so this is the last step at this facility. Okay. So um, what we're going to do here, or what we're going to see here, is basically the uh, the dismantling machine, which is an more or less off-the-shelf excavator with a fully electric drivetrain. Okay. So it has a 200 kilowatt hours uh, battery, battery pack okay. in the rear. It's a fully electric excavator with a specially developed tool set attached to it. So with okay. this tool set, we are going to uh, retrieve two main components of the, uh, of the uh, remaining um, body of the car mm -hmm. after the uh, draining and dismantling process. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's obviously the drivetrain. Yeah. And uh, secondly, it would be the wiring harness inside the car. Okay. Why are we doing that? Of course, the wiring harness is mainly consists of copper. Mm -hmm. So we want to retrieve the copper from the, uh, bodies, uh, from the vehicle's body sure. prior to having it compacted. And secondly, of course, the, uh, the, the drivetrain, so the, uh, uh, the combustion engine mm -hmm. or the electrical engine and the, uh, the gear uh, shifting unit uh, contains a lot of aluminum. So we're going to separate this here first and afterwards we're going to see the uh, dismantling machine placing the remaining body of the car into the compactor, mm -hmm. which will then compact the car into a yeah, nice and handy yeah. little chunk of material. Yeah. Yeah. And the next process step would be picking up of the uh, container containing all the, uh, the uh, compacted vehicles and then transportation to a shredding device, which is an external partner. So this is the last step at this facility. Got it. Yeah. So to end this video with this question, um, how many cars on average do you dismantle every day? I know it's a tricky question mm -hmm. because it, it can vary by car, you yeah. can do more yeah. with certain cars. Is there like an average we can do maybe if you like an, over like one year? Talking. A normal year with, mm -hmm. in one shift operation, for example, we would be around 5,000 vehicles. Okay. Two shifts, 10,000 okay. vehicles at this facility. Gotcha, that's quite a bit. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Well, thanks for all the explanation, really appreciate it. It's interesting to see what BMW can do with sustainability and mm -hmm. recycling and motors and all of that. Yeah. And especially this facility, it's quite unique. Nothing that you see every day, basically. Yeah. So, cool. really appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.